We'll start by creating a new Next app using NPX. Here we'll give the project a name and press Enter. Next, we'll change into the directory and create a new serverless application by running npx serverless create. Here, we'll set the template to be aws nodejs Once the application has been created, open it up in your text editor and then open the serverless.yaml file. Here, we can delete the boilerplate and create our own two properties. The first thing that we'll need is the name of our application. I'll set this to my next app. Next, we'll specify the serverless next component. I'll be specifying version 1.16.0 as it's the most recent version as of this recording. That's all we have to do, so save the file and go back to your terminal. To deploy our app, we can now run npx serverless. The first deployment takes much longer than future updates. Here, my first deployment took 49 seconds, but you'll notice that my future deployments are much faster. In the terminal, we should be given the app URL, which we can copy and paste into our web browser. You should see that your application has been deployed. By default, Next.js ships with an API route, so let's test it out. We can navigate to slash API slash hello to see the API response. Next, let's test out some dynamic routes. To do so, I'll create a new folder called Posts. In the post folder, I'll create a new file called id.js with the id wrapped in brackets. In this component, we'll first import the use router hook from next slash router. Next, we'll create a new component called post. In the post component, we'll use the use router hook to get the id out of the route param. Finally, we'll just return an h1 showing the post ID. We can now deploy the updates using either NPX serverless or the serverless CLI. Once the deployment is successful, you should now be able to use the dynamic route. To delete the app, you can run serverless remove. 